Hey, what's up you guys? It's Friday. It is almost time for me to be heading out the door for work. I'm wearing a blue sweatshirt. It's a new one that my husband got for me from uh, Sierra Clothing. So we got a really good deal on it, like $2 or something. Um, and I'm trying to decide what scent I want to wear today. So let's take a look and see what we decide on. So much to choose from. Mm. I don't think I've used this one. So we're going to go with Victoria's Secret Se Secret Craving. It just kind of feels like a body spray type of day. So we're going to stick with the body sprays. Um, so that's about it. I'm going to head out the door. Now we'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. I hope all is going well and it's Friday. And Sunday I'm going to redo my nails, so I'm not sure if I want to do purple or if I want to do blue. So this is Show You Care, and this is What's the Mituation. So let me know in the comments. Purple, blue, what do you think? Leave me a comment below. Okay, so I'm getting ready to head into work and um, listening to Cosmo Radio. Today is the last day for Cosmo Radio. I'm very sad. Um, I think that Cocktails with Patrick is going to be having a few drinks um, today on air or when they're almost done with their show. So, because I'm working, I asked my husband if he would have a beer in memory of Patrick. And, yeah, so... I'm going to miss them. Patrick and Sean, my boys. And Taylor and Kenny. But they're moving to... Um, they're moving to Stars in the morning. So they're still doing a morning show. And then um, Dr. Jen Berman, who does the VH1 TV show of Couples Therapy, um, she'll be moving to the Oprah Network. So... But I'm still going to miss my cocktails with Patrick. Cox with pee. Okay. Anyway, so um, I'm getting ready to head into to work, but before I do, I wanted to talk to you guys. That I told you the other day that there was something that I wanted to discuss with you, um, and it really comes down to competitions and the different organizations and how, um, at least with me, there's one organization of... Um, of ladies it just seems very clicky and it kind of upsets me because um, I've competed in the NPC because that for me just worked better um, the other organization that that is pretty big around my area is OCB and OCB was really the main um, the, the main competition scene for I guess a few years um, my friend my friend good friend Todd Sweeney um, ran the NPC shows in Maryland and then um, you know he I don't know exactly what happened or why he's no longer running running them I can tell you that Todd is no longer in Maryland so that's gonna be one thing um, but anyway so NPC came back last year I competed for the first time last year and the reason that I chose NPC over OCB was really um, I mean it's a personal decision it may be the same reason that other people do NPC. Um, ultimately, because OCB was so big when I was originally looking, I wanted to do OCB, but, um, you know, they do drug testing and they do um, a lie detector test. And for me, I was just kind of like, I get very anxious. And if I'm afraid that I may have taken something that has been banned from them, then, you know, it's not like I did it on purpose. I'm not going on stage with steroids, um, you know, that's just not me, but I don't know, I, I think my husband and I were talking about it, and I'm pretty sure that when I got, like, my tubes tied, that I was giving medicine that had steroids in them for the pain, so um, that would disqualify me, so just that, that whole thought process, and then knowing that you put in all this time, all this effort, um, all these gym visits, eating perfectly, and then to go to the end and then just be like, oh my God, I totally forgot that I had that, you know, and, and it'll show up in my system. It, you know, it hasn't been seven years. So that was like my own personal decision. But anyway, I'm going to go into this whole topic 
this weekend when I can sit down and really gather my thoughts together. It's just, I was watching YouTube videos last night and my trainer happened to do a video about unnatural shows. And um, it was just kind of funny because it was something that I've actually been thinking about um, as far as like my feelings towards certain, um, I guess like certain people within there and some things that have recently been said. It kind of stems back to actually around the Olympia time. But uh, but anyway, I'll, I'm rambling and I will discuss all of that later. I'm going to head into work. It's getting a little bit later and um, we'll check in with you guys later on in the day. Okay, so <clears throat> I wanted to come on here to kind of explain to you guys, um, you know, how I feel about Cosmo Radio and why I feel that way. So I got my XM subscription two years ago when I got my um, caught my new car and I got the free trial and I went to Cosmo Radio because I was like, well, I wonder what this is. So I started listening to Wake Up With Taylor and then that kind of transferred into um, Cocktails With P and then in the evenings which were a little bit more difficult. Normally I would hear it like when I was leaving from the gym, but then I would hear Dr. Jen. Um, so I got the um, online subscription so I could listen at work. <clears throat> and then it became more a part of my day. And, you know, I guess I really didn't think about it at the time. But honestly, when I was going through a really difficult time, um, between my daughter running away, my mother passing away, my um, dad passing away, and then, you know, a couple other, like, personal things that were going on with my stepkids and things like that. It just, it was a lot. The last two years have just been, like, crazy, and things are finally kind of starting to settle down a bit, and, um, you know, but listening to Cosmo Radio, that's really kind of what, you know, helped me laugh in the mornings when I was listening to um, Wake Up With Taylor. I can't tell you how many times I would come home and say something to my husband about whatever they were talking about on cocktails um, with Patrick. So, like, I would come home and say, so, honey, would you do this? Would you do that? Why do men think this? Why do men think that? Do you agree with this? Do you not agree with this? What would you do in this situation? So, we had a lot of those types of conversations based around that show. So, that's kind of cool. Um, I called in the Dr. Jen at least twice um, when I was going through a lot of stuff. So, um, you know, it was definitely definitely a vehicle for to help me get through everything um <clears throat> and then I don't know the way that Patrick kind of went out and the way that he handled everything that was going on and has uh, and is going on currently with the fact that his job is uh unknown right now his employment is unknown um, he's going to be back on the radio, but that's only for a week, and then they're going to decide what to do from there. Um, I don't think it's fair that they're putting him on a sports station, but I'll definitely be listening this week just to kind of see how they're going to make that transition. It's going to be a little bit difficult because it's in the morning, but uh, but I'll see what I can do. Um, but uh, the main thing, I guess, the best thing that, that he left me with is the way that he went out, just a very appropriate, not bitter, not angry, you know, life has its doors, one door closes, another one opens, that whole cliche, but it's true, so, um, I just wish him the best of luck, I know that everyone else will be fine, and they've got their things going on, um, so, yeah. Okay, you guys, I just wanted to share that little piece with you. Okay, you guys, I'm going to wrap up this video. Go away. After Digger eats, he gets really annoying. So, anyway. Um, today, <laughs> today was mostly, um, 
a pretty, it was actually a pretty good day, all in all. Um, I listened to Cocktails with Patrick on Cosmo Radio, and um, today was their last show, so it was just kind of like a sad, it was just a sad day. Um, I was getting a little emotional, a lot of people calling in and kind of saying, you know, what they, they miss, what they're going to miss about Patrick. Um, if you listen to Cosmo Radio, if you didn't um, catch Patrick and Sean today and you're interested, they are um, going to be taking over a sports <clears throat> a sports channel for a week in the morning. So they're going to be going up against the same time slot as Wake Up With Taylor. So um, if I'm up in the morning, I'll listen to it. But honestly, that time is, is bad for me because I work late and I get home late and 7 o'clock in the morning is just not, you know, we don't listen to the radio um, in the morning. So, <sighs> But, um, but that's about it. Greg had some beers in honor or remembrance, I guess, of cocktails with Patrick. Um, and I think that's about it. Um, this weekend, we're going to do something. Digger's kind of getting a little bit, I guess, I don't want to say annoyed, but I guess he needs his, his quiet time, and normally Greg's out in the garage and doing stuff, and um, because of his back problems lately, he hasn't been. So I think Greg and I are planning on doing something this weekend. I don't know what, but we're going to try to get out of the house for a little bit to give Digger some alone time. So that's it for the night. I'm going to end this vlog here. Babe, do you have anything to say to you two? No. He's quiet. Digger's trying to help my arm. Go away. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Okay, so I, I don't want to forget to tell you guys, um, Greg sent me a picture earlier, so if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, you would have seen that I got Oxygen Magazine today. I'm so excited. Yay. I did a quick kind of like um, flip through of the magazine, and um, yeah, <laughs> It pretty much is kind of the same thing. It feels a little light, but I know that they were trying to kind of rush to get the magazine back out to people again. So, uh, I'm happy with it so far. I'm really hoping that because um, of the new publisher, they publish magazines like, um, I think, Climbing and Yoga. I know yoga and I think the mountain climbing one are ones that my next issue iPad app has. So if I'm lucky, maybe Oxygen will show up in that app and I won't have to pay for the subscription anymore outside of my next issue app. So that would be great. So that's it. Catch up with you guys later.